Hey guys, it's Andy back with Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am very excited because I am going to do another like monthly subscription video. And this one I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'm gonna do the Ipsy one. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I always have like a weird time with Ipsy. Sometimes our credit card goes through, sometimes it doesn't go through. So there are months that it just doesn't show up and they're like, your credit card's been declined. And then literally the next month it's like, it's coming on the 15th and I'm like we didn't change the card we didn't change any information there's not any less money or anything on the card so I don't know why it does that it just does it's weird I don't really care enough to go and fix it or change the card we just kind of like if it comes it's a nice surprise and if it doesn't eh. that being said my mom has been an ipsy subscriber for a while I think she might have actually gotten her glam bag first and then I got mine afterwards like a couple months afterwards Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. Once I found BoxyCharm, I really was kind of sold on them. And I that was when the Ipsy was kind of like, mm, you know, if I have it, great. If not, okay. But my mom suggested that we go ahead and do an unboxing of both of them to see what products, if we got any similar. Um, we both have totally different profiles. So my profile is much more makeup heavy, much more of the brights and the um, ambitious, not ambitious, that's the wrong word adventurous that's the word also started with an a totally different meaning oops um adventurous box so I, I like a little bit more of the bold colors the things that are a little bit more unique my mom is much more neutral much more natural in terms of what her style is and what her makeup comfortability is so that normally is reflected there are sometimes um i think since they started doing like the rate your products and give us reviews and doing that that they've kind of like molded to her needs and her wants a little bit better but there was a while she was getting like red lipsticks and stuff and she's just like i can't use any of this i don't know what i'm supposed to do with it and i was like i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know what to say so i've talked enough about it i'm gonna show you guys these are the two pink little packages i'm gonna do mine first and then my mom's afterwards so this one's my mom's i'm gonna just lay this over here and i have not even opened mine it literally came four days ago and I just sat it on my dresser until i had time to film this and i figured i would open it up on camera and be just as surprised as you now, did I look at my spoiler email? Yeah. Um, do I remember what was in it? Nope. Don't have a dang clue. So this is as like fresh and new to me as it is to you guys. So we'll learn together. I think, I think maybe there was a blush. Maybe. I don't know. That's a, that's the only thing that's sticking out of my head. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm getting. Oh, but the bag is cute. I did see the picture of the bag. Um, I actually wasn't a fan of it online. I was kind of like, that's it's got like palm fronds and it's it's uh kind of ugly but it's not actually it's really cute it's almost like a teal color which is that's my favorite color um it's got like this nice peachy accent so i, I like it it's a cute bag and it's got like a nice kind of almost like raised plastic pleather feeling so it's a that's a solid bag good job ipsy way to go oh all right well, okay i already recognized one thing in here so that's exciting so I got a little Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which that's actually one of my favorite mascaras, um, like just across the market. It's it's just like the, it's like the real small sample size because they have some, the, the actual Roller Lash has like this nice, like pretty de decorated, like raised plastic head. And that one is, um, sometimes they make minis in that. This is not one of those. This is just like the really tiny one. But it's got such like a pretty, here let me do that, it's got such like a pretty little like curved brush. It does such a good job of like combing out your lashes and really giving them length while keeping them from getting clumpy. So I'm very excited about that. You guys know I don't ever buy lash, or buy mascara. I always wait for them in this kind of stuff. So that is exciting. Okay, so this for July 2019, I guess the theme is Dive In. So that's kind of a cool one. Hmm. There's something in there that I don't, I don't know what it is and I'm not sure how to respond to it. So I'm going to save that for last because I think it's going to be interesting. That's a good size. Okay, so this is a Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Cleanser. That is a great size. I don't know how these videos are gonna be posted, but literally like two minutes ago, we just filmed um, my travel bag essentials for the bathroom. And this would be a great asset in it because I'm always worried about running out of cleansers. And like, that's that's a really, that's a big size. I would say that's pretty close to full size, honestly. So that's really nice. I'm excited about that one. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of the cleanser. Ooh, okay, I got something from the bomb. I have, oh, it's pretty. I have, so this is what it looks like. It's What's the Tea? Um, and it is a, it is an eyeshadow mini. It's like a warm brown tone. So it's actually really, really pretty. Um, and it's a good size too. Uh, I only have one full size palette from the bomb. My mom gave it to me a couple Christmases ago. And honestly, she got me that 
because she knows that I don't normally buy from them and we both have gotten so many like little minis and blushes and bronzers and eyeshadows from them in our ipsies that we know we like the brand we just know that she just knows that I don't buy that a lot and she's always like I can't buy you makeup because you buy it yourself and she's not wrong so I'm like I'm sorry yeah um oh oh I was right I did get a blush okay so this is phase zero cotton candy blusher that's the little black box and we'll open it up inside and see what it has. Um, I really am kind of curious if you guys have the Ipsy Plus, is it worth it? I would really love in the comments if you guys could tell me like if it's worth upgrading to because I think it's $25 and you can either do just $25 and get the big box or you can like add $25 to your subscription already. So I think it's like $35 and you get both. I don't know. I mean, I feel like for 21 that the BoxyCharm is, like they're going for that, but it's still more expensive and I always am satisfied with BoxyCharm. So I don't know if you guys have it, if you have both, if you have one, let me know what you think. Um, I would really like to know because we've really been talking about, I want to get in more subscription, monthly subscription boxes because I think they're fun and they're cool and they always send you like unique products, but I just don't know if it's worth it. So I would really love to hear from you guys about that. All right, so this is a little bit pinkier than what I would normally choose for a blush. I I can't talk ever. I wish I could. This is a little bit pinkier than what I would normally use for a blush, but it's still a really pretty color and it's a really good size too. I'm actually very impressed with the size of the products I've gotten this month because I would say that this is close to full size. The Murad one is close to full size and this, I mean, back to the bomb one, this actually looks like a really close to full size eyeshadow. So overall, that's a, a pretty good deal, I think. Um, this is my final product. I don't, I don't know how to take this. So this is a, a chicken with a, with an egg, or like a egg. And then there's like a little, like a mallet on the back. I don't know. Okay. So it's a real egging pack moisturizing from Dilly Delight. It's a face mask. All right, so this is a one single use overnight mask with moisturizing and skin firming effects from real egg ingredients. So it's supposed to firm your, that's cool. All right, I, I don't know this, I don't know if I'm ever gonna wanna use it because it's just so cool looking. I'm excited about that. I like my, I like my Ipsy a lot. I'm impressed, Ipsy, way to go. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got this bag. I'm going to look at my mom's and we're going to compare and see if I like what she got better, if I like what I got better, or if I like what she and I got equally. So yeah. So I went ahead and put away mine and this is my mom's. I'm going to dig into this. I did put away all my products first so I didn't confuse them. All right. So first things, I do see a duplicate. She also got the Roller Lash Mascara. Like I said, I love this mascara. I would be excited to get it. I think for her more neutral style it would be just as good to get it as it is for my bold style so um that one is i would say it's a good it's a nice one uh for both of us oh actually it looks like we got two no oh this is funny okay so she got a bomb eyeshadow as well hers is uh iced tea i think mine was hot tea that was why it was a little bit browner hers is this nice deep purple color and honestly um just based on our preferences, I would say this is probably closer to what I would like and the brown is probably closer to what she was like would like. So that's a little bit interesting in my opinion. Um, still a really good size, still a very pretty color. Um, I feel like for her use, she would probably use it as like an eyeliner under her eyelash line because that's what she normally does. Um, but overall, both very pretty colors and both of them are really, really good size. So I'm, I think that she would like that. I think I am a little bit jealous about the color that she got though. Oh, okay, so this is cool. I'm really jealous of this actually. She got a Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer from Ciate London. You guys have heard me talk about my Ciate London eyeshadow, um, glitter eyeshadow pen so much that you're probably sick of hearing about it. I have a couple of their palettes as well. I really love them as a brand. I think I actually discovered them in an Ipsy. Um, I think the first product I got was like a mini uh, eyeshadow from Ipsy and that's how I decided that I absolutely adored them as a company. So this, there's just the whole look of it is really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. Part of me, she's not like a huge primer person. So part of me is like, maybe she'll give it to me. That'd be great. But um, yeah, I'm jealous about that one. That's that's a cool one. One of her products was a brush. It's this nice little, um, kind of like a tapered. I would honestly probably use this if I was trying to do like a less, pigmented glitter look like an all-over glitter shine that would probably be the best way that I would use it 
Um, but it would probably also work really well for like um, your outer corner dark application coming into a lighter shade. So, but it is a nice brush. It feels really nice. And I always, I mean, I love getting brushes in my subscription boxes. Pretty much all the, the eye brushes that I use now and face brushes really come from either Ipsy or from BoxyCharm. So I'm always thrilled to get a new eyeshadow brush. Uh, so yeah, that's a good one too. And then the final thing she got were these, it's, this is, you get why I, I thought it was maybe two products because it's a duo mask. Um, so it looks like she gets a vitalizer sleeping mask and she gets a pore tightening sleeping mask. Um, it looks cool. It's got like little pill bottles on it. So I don't know if it's like a doctor created brand or formula. It's the brand is BRTC. I feel like I should know them. I feel like I've heard of them before, but I don't think I've ever used any of their products. So that's really cool. Um, I honestly don't know who I like better. I'm, I think. So if I went product by product, honestly, to like create my perfect bag, I probably would choose the Lash Mascara or the Benefit Lash Mascara, the Ciate Primer, the Ice Tea Shade, and the Dark Purple, the one that my mom got. So I would do probably those three, and then I would do the Murad um, Cleanser because it was such a good size. And I actually, as cool as the little egg mask was, I think I would probably for my final project or product choose this one just because this is, comes with two masks. And I mean, it feels like there's a good amount of uh, product inside these little nice um, cartons. So overall, I mean, like I said, I was really happy with mine. Um, having seen hers, I'm a tad bit jealous, probably just about, uh, well, about half of her products. So, um, so yeah, actually, I'm very impressed with Ipsy's products this month. I'm, I'm very happy with what I got. I'm happy with what my mom got. I think she was happy with what she got too. Um, she didn't give me any complaints and she said she really liked the bag as well. So overall, I'm happy with this month. Um, cool. Hopefully you guys liked this style video. It, like I said, it was my mom's suggestion and I was kind of like, I don't know. And then after having watched a bunch of Alexandria Ryan stuff, who I'm not obsessed with and seeing her do her three Ipsy glam bags, um, but I'm very tempted to like do multiple Ipsies for myself as well, just because I like am very curious to see what would get duplicated. And um, I think actually doing it with my mom's and kind of doing this is a good way to like put my own unique twist on it. Uh, and then like also be envious of some of the stuff my mom gets or be like, oh, I'm glad I didn't get her bag this month. So hopefully you guys like this video. Like I said, I think I've rambled a little bit, but Nikki's good about cutting that. So as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below, especially about the Ipsy Glam Bag Pus because I'm really, really considering upgrading to it and I'm trying to decide if it'd be worth adding on, if it'd be smarter just to go ahead and upgrade completely, whatever, however I do it. But I would love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, and if you aren't following our page, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see every time we post a video and I talk about makeup. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly but with a dark twist.